a breeding for profit video will be coming out trying to cover a lot of the stuff that uh, has been uh, important over the last little bit like what type of fish you should be breeding what type of fish that are not good to breed when people tell you yes you can breed this fish in a 20 gallon tank it's a lot deceiving or misleading than what it sounds like because then you think okay I don't need a 20 gallon tank and I can put these fish and they can breed but the reality is you will need five six other tanks to grow the fry and so this is something a lot of youtubers don't seem to understand or cover they just tell you yes these are the fish you can breed in a 10 gallon tank like, yes, I have a 10 gallon tank and I bred the fish. Now what? You know what I mean? So uh, this channel is more dedicated towards long-term success. This Produced by Malik. What is going on world? Welcome back to Malik's Water Garden. In today's video, we're going to be doing an epic unboxing. I got a bunch of different stuff for the fish room and they're all really cool items and they're all different items. So we'll go through this entire shipment of cool stuff. I'm doing this outside in my foyer in front of my 60 gallon angel fail fish grow out tank. So this is a tank you guys don't get to see that often. These fish are seven months old, not even actually, they're just passing six and a half months. And these are the same fish that you guys can see in some of my older videos from March and April, where I talk about how to breed and raise angelfish fry. So these guys were born at the end of March and the beginning of April. So you guys can go back and see the fish and see how big they've grown. Look how big they are now. They're, this, some of these fish are taller than seven inches. Most of them are six inches plus, you know, and they're large. These are some of the leftovers. I've actually sold about three to 400 of these guys in the last few months so if you are in the greater toronto area and you want to buy some of these guys i do have pairs available they are pairing up and uh so you can contact me either through facebook or instagram or uh down below here and uh, i will let you know if you can come pick some of these up i am not letting anybody come into the fish room because of the rona and uh so all the sales are made, made outside it will be you can meet me at the parking lot safely no contact pickup so that's what's available there. So let's get into today's unboxing without further ado. So the first thing we're gonna look at, these things didn't even have packaging. These two things just came as it is. Um, and uh, this has my address and stuff, which I'm not gonna show. Uh, so these are, this is a Marina breeder box. And uh, so we're gonna look at that real quickly. I will be using a lot more of these for uh, some of the other fry that I have. I am gonna be keeping a lot of my fry out of the parent tanks because there is a lot more growth uh, in a uh, controlled environment. So that's why I got this one and this was $20. So I'll try to put some of the Amazon links to these eventually onto my Amazon account when I get around to it. Okay, so that's the first thing, which is the Marina or I guess this is the Itza, Ista, Itza, Ista, 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 whatever. Okay, uh, this guy right here is the Cascade. We got a few of these. But this one particularly I really like because the corner filter and uh, it does come with all this stuff. I'm not going to pull out everything but just want to quickly show how it looks. Uh, I've done a complete unboxing of these, these filters. I did a complete uh, review on it, my personal likings and dislikings. Uh, I have quite a bit of these guys, probably about 20 of them throughout the fish room. It's my favorite power head because it has the capacity to filter and use as, as a power head. So uh, also, I want to really quickly add, be careful with your knife. I, I was just holding my knife with my hand like this and I was holding this thing and it was cutting into my hand. So if you're a young person, get help from a parent or a guardian and uh, be careful with the cutting tools. So this one's really cool, I really like it. Um, my personal favorite, I think, as far as power heads go, for Playco tanks, they work really well. The fry do not get sucked up into it. And uh, you know, it's, it's a really good product for me personally, but I mean, to each its own, some people like the, the oscillating power heads. I personally prefer these. So it's up to you what, which one you like to use. Uh, I, I just, you know, personal preference. Now, this is not for fish, but public service announcement. Pick up after your dog, okay? If you have a dog and it, your dog takes a dump outside in the sidewalk, beside the sidewalk, or somebody else's lawn, or a public park, or anywhere that is not your own property, pick it up, please, because it's disgusting and it is frustrating for my dog to step on other people's dog's poop, okay? So yes, dog poop bags. 
be a decent human being, pick up after your dog. So let's put that aside. Sorry about the rent. Uh, moving on, we got another box here. I think the rest of the stuff is for all fish. Let's see what we got in here. We did get these. If you guys have seen this, I'll put a link to this video right here. I guess right there. So you can check it out. Best caves for zebra pecos and other hype ancestors. I'm not gonna pull out all of them, but I'll show you one of them. Really cool. So I'll put the entire video link here. I guess I did already. Oh, I did cut my hand. It's kind of itchy. Well, it's just a, the, you can't see it, but I definitely feel something. So there we go. Got these. Really happy about those. Uh, also from Amazon. Works great. Moving on to the next box. Oh wow, we got more filters. I guess I really like these filters. Not a paid advertisement, but if Penplax is watching, you should send me some shit. Like seriously, Penplax. This is like the 10th Penplax filter I'm unboxing in the last three months. Okay, probably. Yeah, it is actually, because I, I did a bunch of unboxings for these. So I'll put a link to this video right here so you can check that out. I bought this on Amazon. I will put some of these onto my Amazon store eventually because I actually do believe in this product. This is one of my favorite powerhead filter units, internal tank units. I, I really like this product. So we're definitely gonna be uh, putting a link to that for you guys. The last but not least, this box has probably smaller boxes in it because I did buy more stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this, this definitely has more stuff. I love stuff. I love shopping. I think I have a problem. Uh, I, I, I justify it by saying it's a, it's a business expense, and it is. But uh, I got a new heater. Uh, so this is a space heater. That's a cute doggy on the front. Um, not a paid advertisement, but it did have good ratings on Amazon. So um, it was like about $80, I believe. I'm not sure exactly how much it was, but it is just so I can uh, use this instead of my older space heater which is now about 10 years old and uh, I'm just taking no, I'm just being cautious because I don't want to have an issue at some point. So I bought this instead just to replace the other one. The other one is not broken or anything. So I will use both units uh, most likely, but uh, this is just gonna be my new unit, which I'm gonna be using more regularly. It's really cool, it's really pretty. I really like it. Oh. The fresh smell of plastic. It has an on off switch right there. And uh, thermal controls, you know, plus and minus. And uh, do not cover, obviously. So this part gets hot. There's a fan, I believe. My dog loves these, I don't know why, but I think it smells good. It smells good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells gorgeous. It smells like a brand new plastic product. I love that smell of plastic, like the fresh plastic smell. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like almost like a oily, gasoline-y, plastic-y smell. I mean, plastic is made out of gasoline products, right? Like, uh, so, oh my God, I, it's just it's just something about that smell. Okay, I'm just gonna get high off of this, so I'm just gonna put this away now, <laughs> so I don't get too high off of the plastic. Uh, yeah, but that's the unboxing. So. I mean, this is also something I got, but it's not for the fish room per se. It is a kitchen scale, but we will be using this to, to weigh out some of our fish. Just to keep track of like growth and stuff for my females and stuff, I definitely do want to do some weighing. So I did get this for that purpose as well as some other kitchen purposes. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, this is a great time for you to subscribe because a lot of cool videos are coming out. Aside from these unboxing and other regular maintenance type of videos. I do a lot of uh, care and maintenance videos and how to breed different types of species. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all.